Hi, welcome to the channel, uh, Budget Audio Review and Upgrades. Uh, first of all, I'm only going to do this video and probably one more, maybe two more before Christmas, so uh, just in case I don't, uh, I just want to take the opportunity of uh, saying Happy Christmas and uh, Happy New Year to all my subscribers and also any uh, person uh, wandering over to the channel looking at this particular video. And uh, let, let's wish uh, 2021 is a lot better for, I should you imagine, pretty much everyone than the 2020 has been this for certain. So uh, fingers crossed with that and uh, let's hope it all goes well next year. Okay, someone did ask me to take an amplifier, um, you know, just take the lid off and have a look inside kind of thing. So um, as I've also um, just done a video about uh, uh, just checking the DC um, offset of amplifiers and the speaker terminals, um, I thought I'd quickly take the uh, lid off of this and have a look inside. Things I look out for myself when uh, just purchasing a second hand amplifier, just a general check really. Uh, and also afterwards I'll follow it up hopefully with a, a video of uh, actually adjusting the DC off, uh, bias sorry the DC bias on this particular amplifier uh, as there's not a great deal of information in the manual about it but there is a few little articles on the internet here and there so I thought I'd show you how, how I'll do it on this particular one give you an idea I'll follow up with the next video with that one so uh, I will mention in this video I've already pre-recorded it uh, me taking it apart etc that uh, it was very clean inside well I've come you know, I get a, quite a few bits and pieces and I've come up, you know, one, one I want to show you now picture here, this is a receiver and as you can see this is really really dirty inside when I say dirty it's really dusty so uh, just a uva and uh, a paintbrush, a stiff paintbrush and that inside and it come up really clean, I haven't got a clean picture here I'm afraid, I don't know what's happened to that, I did have but it come up you know pretty much spotless to be honest with you so dust isn't going to hurt, you know what I mean, it's, it, you know, different if something was spilt in it or something like that but uh, a bit of dust isn't going to work and also, while you are inspecting this amplifier, I didn't mention the transistors in the video, so I'll just mention them now, actually. When you do a general inspection, you may, may be looking about and thinking, oh, them transistor legs look dirty and all that, and you know, they're, they're rotting away kind of thing. But they do coat them. Uh, I've got a couple of pictures here. Just flip through these pictures. And also on the actual uh, pot adjustment as well. You can see it looks quite grimy and dirty, but this is actually... Uh, a protection they use to stop things rusting and uh, you know any you know anything eating away at it so to speak so don't worry too much about that sometimes the resistors are covered the legs are black completely sometimes only halfway up but you know you get the general picture there and uh, so this is protection so don't worry too much about that okay let's play the video and i'll come back okay this is a, a live video i don't like doing too many of these really it's always uh, awkward getting the right camera angle etc but someone did want to uh, well, a couple of people actually now wanted me to actually undo an amplifier and just a few general checks I do inside. Obviously, you know, it's a bit like buying a car. You have a little look at the engine. If you see anything leak or anything, any, you know, any oil that shouldn't be there, you've got an idea that something may be wrong. But don't always tell the story. I mean, it can look perfect and still be a few bits and pieces wrong. But just a general look that I do when I first buy something. I've already took the screws out. Now, these are just four screws in this particular amplifier, two on each side. And that held it in. You may get some amplifiers or receivers where you've got two more, three more screws at the back there as well on the back plate. And you just lift this lid off. Now, you know, you, it, usually they just come straight off, no problem at all. With this particular amplifier, it's just a little bit of a knack to it. You don't actually pull off like that. It kind of just slides forward or backwards, should I say there. So as you can see, it just slides backwards. This lip comes away, then you can pull it completely off and uh, put the lid aside. Okay, and what I usually do is have a little look around and just get, you know, you can tell sometimes as you first open it up, but obviously some of these amplifiers can get really dusty. Clean it up the dust and over or something like a little brush attachment on your over, spray dust or whatever, or even a, a paintbrush and uh, get the dust out. Get it, you know, give it, get it in there so you can see what's happening. But I was, and I was really lucky with this amplifier. I've not touched this at all. Uh, this hasn't been touched since I've actually bought it. Um, as you can see there's still some marks there, a few marks, I don't know what that is, but uh, other than that, it's really in mint condition really, um, you know, it's in uh, near enough brand spanking new condition. So yeah, what I usually do, nothing spectacular or anything like that, but uh, just a general idea of uh, maybe, you know, what area it is, so to speak. I'll, I'll check the transformer, make sure there's no gunk or anything leaking out of that, it's all nice and tight. Uh, all, all these are nice and thing, knock on rusty, anything like that. If there's a little bit of rust, maybe just a little bit of a concern, you know, how, how deep the rust has gone. But that's in, well, that's in brand new condition, as you can see. I usually check any wires, just go around looking, just, just make sure the wires, you know, they look okay, soldered in, nothing, no dry joints or anything like that. You know, all the wiring looks all right. I mean, I get carried away a little bit, you may want to go just a naked eye, so to speak. I've got one of these kind of 
lights here. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can. Bring it in the picture now. It's, you can see through like an inspection lamp. But I do my soldering and all that. But I can go around and uh, check the wiring with that as well. But I don't think you have to go that, that mad. You'll get a general look. I usually check all these capacitors. Make sure, I mean, some of these are stuck in. So it will look like some kind of glue at the bottom. But you kind of, you get an idea what's glue and what isn't. And just see if any of them are leaking, which wouldn't be a good sign. And run your finger across the top of them. This is what I usually do, and maybe down the sides. But you, you can feel the top. You want them nice and level. Don't want any bulging capacitors, as there could be a few problems there. I'll start off with the big ones, then uh, just generally check the little ones as well. And uh, as you can see, this, this is really in the top condition, really, for how old it is. Uh, in really, really good condition. And that's really my basic little look inside just a little inspection obviously you can you know you can start taking things apart cleaning controls and all that if they're crackly and all that that's that's a different video really this is just a general first look video uh and uh, checking the output of the uh you know the speakers and that the uh offset there of the speakers so this is just a general opening up video and, uh, and a very little look inside of, uh, of the amplifier or receiver when you first buy it uh, what I sometimes do, I mean, it's up to you this year, really is, uh, I, you, you, you've got to be a little bit careful because the compound underneath these uh, transistors can start cracking, it can start drying up. But I, to be honest with you, uh, of all the ones I've done, I've had absolutely no problem, but I'm not saying you're going to. But like anything else, over time, screws do seem to like move for some reason, especially in speakers. But um, I usually just give these just a little tighten up myself. It's probably something you don't want to do. I'm not too bothered if I'm, if it goes wrong, I'll get another transistor replacement and put it in there. But uh, obviously when you're doing that, I hold the transistor really firm. You don't, you know, just in case you turn that and actually start moving the transistor and you've really got to play it by ear. Just a gentle turn if, you, if it needs to be. And as soon as you feel a movement of the transistor moving, stop because you don't want to start shorting out legs against the heat sink and all that. Just something I do. I like tightening them up. I'm just one of these people who like tightening screws up. And I've had quite a few amplifiers and receivers now, and nothing's gone wrong. Like I say, if it did, I could, I could rectify it. Uh, but yourself, you may come unstuck. So it's something you may not want to do there, but something I do, you may just want to do the other general checks. Um, yeah, that's it really, you know what I mean? You can make sure this is unplugged, by the way. Make sure everything's unplugged. You could also maybe check the fuses, just make sure they're not wobbling about inside the holders. You could probably do that as well while you've got it open and any these fuses are actually sealed here so you can't really get to them so leave them as they are but um, other than that that's, that's nitpicking really that they usually you know i've had no problems with them at all but something else you may want to just have a little look at just to double check you know especially if you've got a second hand one and someone's changed the fuse a few times or something like that so it's pretty rare or the fault but you never know then molders can get a bit you know the springiness can go so just something to check maybe like I say, the cleaning of the controls and all that is a, is a later video, really. Okay, uh, yeah, I hope that's been some kind of help to you there. Obviously, you don't have to uh, go that far as I do start. This is because you never know that the, the, the paste behind it could start cracking and you could cause it some damage. Like, you know, the, the thermal paste may not uh, dis you know, pull the heat from the transistor onto the uh, heat sink. So, yeah, just something you may not want to do. But I, I tend to do it, like I say, if it all goes pear shaped. And I've got a a reading gun as well that I've put on the transistor here right and obviously fill out what it gets as well after I've done that just to make sure I haven't caused any damage or whatever but up till now uh, touch wood everyone I've done has been fine but something may, you may not want to do you may be just happy to do the general checks okay I'll come back with the next video and adjusting the DC bias uh, on this particular amplifier until then I'll say thanks for watching I'll see you all soon